Hello, everyone. Uh, so the World of Warcraft, the next, the Scourge event uh, literally just went up. I'm logging in for the first time, and I am logging in right outside of where uh, Nathanos Blightcaller should be. And I believe when you defeat him, uh, there's going to be a cinematic. So I'm ready. I'm excited. Um, and I'm hoping that we can we can jump in here as soon as this comes in. You can see that we're already we're already there's a already a group of people uh, in here, well, which is pretty well. cool. If it isn't Azeroth's mightiest champions. Congratulations. You've managed to track me to the most unlikely of places. My very own home. Seeking retribution for all the bad, bad things I've done, I suppose. How frightfully... Now there is a world quest here for the Sentinel's gavel, and then he starts. Let's do it. Let's get on. He's not happy that we're fighting him. That's for sure. All right, I'm very excited. I'm hoping that the cinematic procs as soon as you defeat him. All right, he's at seven percent, so he stops at seven percent. He's defeated. And okay, so I discovered how you actually are able to do this. So you do the quest line that is available this week, uh, the week one of Scourge event. You do it up to the point where you unlock all of the dailies, and then you don't have to do the dailies. Uh, you can go and go back to Stormwind or Orgrimmar, go to the Argent camp that's set up that you had to go to uh, during the quest line. Go back there, and there will be a Light's Hope messenger. That will be sitting there waiting for you. And he says, I, we, I mean, he's, we found him. We found the blight collar. I was on patrol like I'd done a hundred times before. Only there he was sitting on the front porch of that old house with those terrible dogs. And I swear he smirked at me and stared with those fiery red eyes. And he's at the Maris stead. Our forces have him surrounded, but uh, you should probably gather your friends. I don't think he plans to surrender. So now we can go to Eastern Plaguelands. Luckily I'm a paladin, so we can just go to Dalaran. And we can fight him yet again, because I already fought him once! There we go. Dude, I just kicked your ass! Let's go, Tyrande! Wow, dude. Now it's getting interesting. <laughs> dude, she looks so cool. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you don't stand a chance. You don't stand a chance. God, I love her so much. There it is. Dude, you can see she's cold. Where is she? With him, of course. In the darkest place. Along with every soul burned to ash in your precious trees. Dude. Where is she? Do it, Toronto. Mm. Do it! <laughs> Go on. Kill me. You'll send me right to my lady. <laughs> Beyond the veil, she shattered. <laughs> I knew it. Yep. Yep. Tyrande. High priestess. Night warrior, completely powerless to stop the coming. Yeah, dude. Protectress him. She is. Oh my God, I love her so much. God, I love her so much. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Hey, 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 I didn't call for this. 
hey, 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 cut it out. All right, so I'm guessing that I can just hearth back. She just decapitated. Right. The Thanos, I actually, okay, so while we're hearthing back, uh, that was incredible, first of all. That was amazing. The shot of her, like, having her back, like, she has the blade up to his neck, but this she's not even, dude, she, he is nothing to her. You know what I mean? Like, she doesn't actually even really care about him. She's just looking for Sylvanas. And, and just that, like, awesome. I also really like what Blizzard has done because they've given us, I think anyways, I, for me, they've given us a satisfying conclusion um, to this Nathanos Blightcaller that we know on, where am I going? On Azeroth. Like, they've given us, sure, Tyrannic kill stilled, whatever, but like, obviously she deserves it. And it was incredible and it was really well done. The moon fire coming down and killing his hounds, that was great. Um, just completely incinerating them. Uh, the, the fact that the moon itself eclipsed while she walked in, so cool. I loved it. Uh, but the thing that I actually enjoy the most about that whole scene is the fact that he says, you're sending me to my lady, uh, which, you know, we've been wondering since Shadows Rising, the book came out, has this been their plan? Is their plan for, uh, for Nathanos to be sent to Sylvanas? And, and I think we're, we're seeing that now that, yeah, that's indeed what they wanted to do. And that's awesome. That's super cool. All right. Let's see what, what Greymane says at long last, one of the most notorious enemies of the Alliance has met his end. Well done. Never. Well done. I have faced a black caller before. A pity I wasn't there to help end him. At long last, one of the architects of the fourth war has been brought to justice. I envy Tyrande for landing the killing blow. Though I fear it did little to bring her peace. Yes. The power within her seems to be growing stronger. More insistent. Our hunt for Sylvanas continues. We must find where she's taken Anduin Jaina and the others. Do not relent, champion. Bring them home. In two weeks, I will do just that, my friend. We owe much to the Alliance. Let's see if he says anything else. Uh, nope. I think that's it. Stand strong. I think that's it. I'm gonna go do one last check over at this quartermaster over here. Which, if if you're looking for how to start the quest, it's right here. Uh, for Nathanos, you in 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 Stormwind, the Ogremar one is is wherever wherever the Argent tent is in Ogremar in the in the city for the it'll you'll know you'll know you'll see it. Um, okay, I'm not seeing anything. I think that's it. I think that's it. We don't think Taronda is around. Uh, I doubt she's in Stormwind Keep or the Embassy or anything else. Hello? Great. I love I love that this song is playing right now. So I'm I'm very excited to see Nathanos not die here. I think that's actually really cool. Um, because I really want to see I really want to see him uh in in I want to see him later. You know what I mean? I want to see Nathanos in a raid environment. I want to see him. Let me go ahead and get out of here because I think I think that's pretty much it here. Um, I really, really want to see Nathanos uh, uh, in a raid environment. Like that's that's my number one thing. I've always wanted to fight Nathanos and and you know have all of the mechanics of of what he's doing, have his his hounds, uh, and now we get to see him in whatever form he his soul decides to take in the Shadowlands. I think that's going to be really cool. Um, I've seen some people complaining that that potentially like in game. I've seen people complaining that uh, you know yet again we're killed, steeled. We didn't actually kill Nathanos because he says that he's going to find her in the Shadowlands. But I I think that's great. I think that's that's awesome. Um, we're sending him there, and then we can kill him for real in the Shadowlands. Kind of one thing needs to happen for the next thing to happen. You know. And I'm excited for I'm excited for where that story is going. Uh, and the animation there, the lighting effects in particular of the moon fire coming down is absolutely stunning. Uh, beautiful. I love the writing in all of this. Taronda is one of my favorite characters right now. Uh, and I think everything that she's doing totally makes sense to me. Uh, it bothers me so much when people are like, she's crazy. I'm like, of course she is. She's lost everything she's ever known for thousands of years. Like, of course she's angry. Um, I love it, dude. I love it so much. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, the reaction to Nathanos Blightcaller's fate. Uh, I appreciate it. I hope you guys uh, subscribe. Maybe check me out on twitch.tv slash missilevineonline. 
and I will see you guys in the Shadowlands. Thank you for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender. Bye, everyone.